course, we all know you shouldn't mix and match power supply cables. But if you end up with a bin full of assorted power supply cables, then there's a good trick to figuring out where they belong. So other than looking at the cable and trying to go by sight, which is a dangerous proposition, the next thing you could do is use a DMM, and you can use a cheap one. You don't have to use a high-end one like this. Uh, you can get one for 30 bucks and just probe the cable to figure out if the pinout matches. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Now, the reason this is useful is because if you do mix and match power supply cables, as we showed a couple years ago, what can happen is you'll kill either the part on the receiving end or you can damage the power supply, depending on how it's wired, because wiring is not standardized on the power supply, and so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermal Grizzly and their high-end thermal compounds. Thermal Grizzly makes cryonaut paste for high thermal performance and conductivity without being electrically conductive, so you don't have to worry about shorting components. Cryonaut is particularly good for replacing stock GPU pastes, as cryonaut is a non-curing compound. Learn more at the link in the description below. So here's the quick version of our previous video, and if you didn't see it, we'll put a card on the screen, whichever corner that goes in, you should watch it. But uh, the quick version is the power supply side of the cabling. It's got a key, of course, which just means that the edges of the pins are chamfered in different ways, so you shouldn't be able to mix and match it. But that doesn't stop people because these connectors are pretty available and the uh, manufacturers will just buy whatever and then match it. But it doesn't mean that if the key fits, the pin in that key has to be the same. You might have a 12 volt line where normally there's a five, or you might have a 12 where there's a ground, which is bad, or you might have a 12 where there's a blank. And uh, so you can't mix and match power supply cables typically because the trouble is you might kill, it. for example, if you mix a SATA cable in from a, I don't know, pick two vendors, from like a Corsair power supply onto an EVGA one or something, uh, it could kill the SSD or it could kill the rest of the system if you mix a different cable. So that's the, that's the concern. But the good news is if you really need an extra, for example, CPU cable like I did for one of our Seasonic power supplies and you only have one that you can find, you can start testing your bin of extra cables and try and figure out if any of them will fit. It's possible because the power supply manufacturers are all using the same couple of suppliers, Seasonic being one of them, it's possible that if three different vendors, like EVGA, Corsair, NZXT, whomever, if three different manufacturers use Seasonic for their supplier, Seasonic might have used the same pinout for each vendor. Now, that's not always the case. It is not a safe assumption. Uh, but it's something that gives you somewhere to start if you have different power supplies. You can probe the cable and just do a simple continuity test to see is it continuous uh, from the top left to the bottom left on the other end, and then does the other cable match that. And if all the pins match, then it's safe to mix them, as long as the key also fits, of course. So that's what we're going to show you. Uh, I've got a Seasonic Prime cable here. This is a CPU cable. It's an EPS 12-volt cable. We have another Seasonic Prime power supply, and what we're going to do is just test that cable from the other Seasonic Prime. It's an older model, and see if it's compatible with the power supply this came off of because I'm missing a CPU cable for that one. So we're just going to try and see between this, between the other Seasonic power supply, can we find a cable that'll fit this key and that has the same wiring internally. So this is the other test bench. We've got a Seasonic power supply on this one. It's, it's the same model, but a different year of the model. Uh, so we need another EPS 12 volt cable. And I've got two hanging out of here. So I can just pull one of these, and then uh, we're just going to label this to make sure it doesn't get mixed in with the other one during testing, and then we can test it. So here's what you need to do. First, for the other cable that you pull out of a known power supply or something like that, we've labeled it just so it doesn't accidentally get mixed with this one and then kill a test system. So we have our two cables. Uh, the key is the first thing you need to, to check. So if the key matches, the key is just the, actually we can show it easier on the mod mat over here. So uh, this is a PCIe pin, this is an EPS 12 volt, and uh, one side is standardized. That would be the side that connects to the device. The side that connects to the power supply is not standardized for various reasons which we've discussed previously. But that's the key, you know, you see the chamfered ed edges there, you see a square, square, chamfered edges, and that's how you can figure out if it's going to fit, of course. And if we match these two cables, the key is, in fact, the same. So it's uh, square, square, diagonal, diagonal, 
square, square, diagonal, diagonal, and then the same on the other side. So these are actually compatible insofar as you could plug them both into the same unit. That doesn't mean the wiring is compatible. Uh, first sign of a problem, the font is different, so we know that it comes from a different uh, power supply model or year. And so now we need to definitely check to see if it works. You can use a cheap multimeter for this. We're just going to use a, uh, a resistance check, so it's a continuity test. And this is pretty easy to do. We're also going to draw out a diagram and, uh, and draw the pinout on a paper so that we can figure out where everything belongs. So for this, we're going to connect one to ground and one over here for resistance testing. OK. So let's do a diagram just so I can keep track of everything. OK, so the pin numbers I wrote here, there is an official pin number spec. I did not follow that. I just wrote them down so I could track what's what. And what we're going to do is this is how you do it. You plug in your multimeter, get it set up, and you just pick a cable and figure out where does it go. So we're going to, it doesn't matter which end, we're going to stick one end in here uh, on the power supply side of the 1300 watt Seasonic power supplies cable. So over here you'll see zero L. This just means that there's no continuity, nothing's connected right now. We're not even probed anywhere. Uh, and what we're looking for is basically 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, something like that. So let's just check the cables. We've got the power supply end. Let me orient this like my drawing. So that would be like that. And then we're going to go with the uh, pin number four as I wrote it out. So we're checking that pin. And we're going to check the top right, which would also be my pin number four over here. Zero L. So these are not continuous. So those aren't connected. Not continuous. Continuous. Oh. So if you see a number growing out of control, <laughs> that is not what we want. What we want is that right there, 0 0.2. Uh, so that's going to be my pin number 4 versus my pin number 6, which I'm saying mine there because I, I did not follow spec for those. So what we know is pin 4 connects to pin 6 on this one. What we don't know, and you can check the manual for this, but we don't know what that is right now. Uh, you could check, I guess, the, the system side and see what is that cable. And that is actually a ground right there on the system side. So we do, I guess we know what that is by way of looking at the spec for the system end. Uh, so now let's test number three. OK, bottom left. So that would be my pin number five versus number three. So just to prove a point here, here is one that is the, it's a colored cable, which we actually prefer, although some people call them ketchup and mustard and don't like them. Uh, they're useful because you can see what's actually what. Uh, so the power supply end over here, you can see there's the, cl the clip. The clip aligns with my drawing like that. And that would leave all of the bottom row is ground, all the top row is 12 volt. So just to prove a point how this works, here's the cable that goes to the power supply when we did finally find the correct cable for the PSU. And this is an important note. So these don't have to match perfectly each time. As long as on this cable, we only have a 12 volt in the ground. So as long as all the 12 vo volt goes to only 12 volt on the system side, and all the ground only goes to ground, then that's all that really matters. So if you test the system side here, in theory, uh, pin 7 should correspond with pin 2 based on our previous diagram. And in fact, it does not, which would lead you to believe that, oh, this is the incorrect cable. But as long as pin uh, 2 goes to another pin, on the bottom row, so that could be 5, 6, or 8 in our diagram. And I'll, I'll just let go of it for a second. So there's 7 by our diagram, 5, 6, 8. This bottom row is all ground. Top row is all 12 volt. So those don't match. Let's try maybe pin 6 versus pin 2. And those are continuous. So that would be 12 volt to 12 volt. So that's fine. We can still use this cable. Let's just make sure that remains true. So let's test pin 1, which should, originally it went to pin 8, so it went to 12 volt. So let's test pin 1 versus pin 8. 
And those are continuous this time. So we're still good. Let's test, we only need to test three, two more. So pin two, or three rather, pin three versus pin five, not continuous. Pin six is our last hope here. Yes, because two already went to six, right? So that connects to seven. So all the 12 volts so far is 12 volt. We have one more to check, that would be pin four. As long as it matches something on the bottom, yep. Four goes to five. So what we've learned then, the pinout is different on this cable, even though it should come from the same exact power supply, but 12 volt only ever goes to 12 volt. Ground only ever goes to ground, which we know because of the, the pinout diagram on the mod mat, which if you want to buy that, because you think it'd be useful, it's on store.gamersnexus.net to pick up the uh, mod mat I'm working on here. So the pinout matches insofar as the, the voltages go to the right place, the rails go to the right place. Uh, so you 12 volts, 12 ground to ground. Uh, the pin itself is not exactly the same, but the key is the same. So we can use this power supply cable with this power supply cable, even if they come from different units. Although I believe these two came from the same one, they just got mixed up in the jumble of other cables. So that's, uh, that's a good way to check your pinout and cable compatibility. So there's a pretty easy way to validate if a cable from a pile of cables will match the power supply you're trying to find a cable for. As noted, it's really, it's not about the pinout or the, the wire path being exactly the same. Pin one doesn't need to go to pin seven in this EPS 12 volt diagram we did. It just needs to go to five, six, seven, or eight. And then as long as uh, the rest of the pins follow that same path where all the 12 volt goes to only 12 volts in an EPS 12 volt cable and all the ground only goes to ground, then you're fine. You can use the cables assuming the keys match. And then the same idea applies for other cables. Just keep in mind that you might have a five volt line in there as well. You might have a blank like this one has two blanks in it because it's a six pin header and it's only going to four pin Molex. So just make sure they match and you'll be good to go. Uh, we have used this method in the past to find cables that got lost in just a pile and we need to match them back to their source power supply and we've also used it in the past to mix and match power supply cables safely uh, from different power supplies as long as the headers all match because again it's the same suppliers for all the manufacturers so that's it for this one thank you for watching as always go to store.cameronsnexus.net to pick up a shirt like this one which will be out soon as an out of stock and not available ever again. And then the mod mat that we used is also on the store, or you can go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.